guys, we're live here at uh, NQC 2012, and what you're about to see is uh, interviews and things that we've done to introduce to you uh, some of our friends, some of our friends in the ministry, some of our friends that are artists, people that you may not know so that you would understand that Southern Gospel isn't just a small industry. It's huge and it's wide. Hopefully you'll find a new friend and a second favorite group because we know who your first favorite group is. So anyway, uh, check out these videos. Check out these people. Look up their websites, their Facebooks, and love on them. Hey, we're here at NQC 2012. What is considered the best tenor singer? No. Uh, what is considered the best bass singer? No. And, uh, no. What is considered uh, an individual that probably needs to be in a padded cell? Actually, I have my own custom <laughs> straight jacket. <laughs> and, and it fits quite, it's a little tight, and I but, think it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's true. It's just Tim Loveless. Um, listen, he's from, he's an Alabama boy like me. Roll and Tide. Roll Tide. Or, well, my dad went to Auburn, though, so it's a, we're kind of a... You're mixed. It's a blend. It's they're, a blend. they're a mutt family. It's a blended family. family. Yeah. It's a blended family. But he's he's one of the funniest guys, and, and more than anything uh, other than just humor. What you're going to get with him is a lot of heart. He's going to minister to your church, to you, in a way that you've never even experienced before. Um, we've been with you, what? Several times lately. It's, it's, been, right? it's been a lot lately. And it's been a little bit more than I can handle. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> well, Let me tell you what, I love these guys because oh, I, I, love, uh, I love their harmony. I love their harmony. I love their, their singing, but most of all, I love their heart. Because I've been in 36 years, 37 years, man. And here's the deal: it doesn't matter how good you sing, it doesn't matter how high, how low. If you don't really know the one you're singing about, there's no life in it, yep. and there's life in Jesus Christ. And I love Three Bridges. If any of y'all want to check out my website, TimLovelace.com. Yes. yes. My name dot com. You can click on the Facebook right there. You can see that that blue F. That's I Facebook. Tell, that's my math score. <laughs> Four years in a row. Four years so, in a row. if you want to know what his math score is, go to his website and look at the blue F. That, that's, just that's click it. on right there. Five out of four people don't understand fractions. That's, that's the deal right there. And if you don't understand that joke, you don't need to homeschool. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But click on right there. And, yes. Uh, and, and also, we're talking about maybe next year doing some stuff. Yeah, bridges. we've got to. And, we, and yeah, so, we've got whenever to. that happens, we'll announce it and right. let everybody know. Y'all come right. out and what, see us. Hey, uh, go on his website look at his schedule I'm just telling you if you've never experienced anything you've never experienced anything until you've experienced this I'm here's, just telling you here's the good deal especially for married couples but for anyone here's the good deal I make everyone else seem a whole lot smarter <laughs> Yes, and I'm like a marriage counselor because every married woman then says, my husband's not as dumb as I thought he was after all. Baby, listen to this. Watch this. Uh, go to his website. Uh, one more time. TimLovelace.com. Check him out. Support him. Get behind him. You will love it. It'll change your life. Jeremy, I appreciate it. Hey, man. Uh, NQC 2012. I'm here with Matt Phelps. Hey, listen. This is the Dixie Melody Boys, okay? If you've not heard them, you need to look them up. You need to go and see what they're about. I know a lot of people, you know, these Dixie Melody boys, they think it's just Southern gospel. You don't know what you're thinking. You don't know what you're talking about until you've heard them because they're going to blow your mind. What's your website? www.dixiemelodyboys.com. Like he said, we used to be kind of the old traditional yeah. Southern gospel. We've uh, kind of taken a new turn, yeah. so you need to check it out. You need to check the turnout. I'm yes. just telling you, it's very, very good. The turn is... Yeah, a little more country vibe. Yeah, it's yeah. A cool, it's a cool turn. Now, what me and Matt really right, want to talk about. what we about, want to talk about. Okay, this is a, for all of my uh, Civil War fans, all, all the guys that, that's in my reenactment group, this is a new album that Matt put out. Uh, just explain a little bit about okay. it. I had the idea to go back and find all these Civil War era hymns, right. but a lot of the music that you know a lot of Civil War guys get at the bookstores has not been done with the best quality. Right. So we took the same musicians from Gettysburg and Gods and Generals Sweet. and had them play all, but they played it just like they would have played on the battlefield, yeah. except the quality of those guys. Right. And they actually went back and got period instruments to play them. So all the instruments are from 1860 or before, which is crazy. <laughs> On it. So every other song we did, like uh, Battle Hymn of the Republic, right. I Love to Tell the Story, Amazing Grace, Rock of right. Ages. And then we went back and found old stories from letters, journals, from soldiers talking about either things of faith or just accounts from the battlefield to tell awesome. what those guys were going through because faith was the one thing that the North and the South shared. They had the same. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. So it was really cool. So we went back and then we took like Johnny Minnick from Happy Goodman's. 
Mike Allen from the Gates of Videos, and just yeah. so we wanted to blow it out. Right. I think it's good to be good. Let, 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 you can go to Dixie Melody Boys and see their schedule and see that, but how do they get this? You can get this at almost every national park right now, almost all the battlefields, national. but mainly, yes, <laughs> and hopefully Cracker Barrel very <laughs> soon. But you can get on angelsonthebattlefield.com. Look it up and listen. Go, go look, again. Go to their website, DixieMelodyBoys.com. See their schedule. Go out and see them. Look for this, especially all my and I'll friends. Tell you, if you don't love it, money back guarantee. Wow. Can't That's get that. Very, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> hey Matt. Oh, I appreciate, appreciate the comment. Look them up. <laughs> I'm here with Scotty Enman from uh, the Tribe Quartet. Yes. Uh, we're having fun. Blast. <laughs> but listen. Uh, one of the best quartets ever, literally ever, ever. I said it. You heard it here tonight at EQC 2012. I said ever. His fingers are crossed. My toes are, and not my fingers. I got longer toes and fingers. Anyway, how do people look you up? You can look us up at triumphantquartet.com. Quartet spelled out. Yeah. Triumphantquartet.com. And their Facebook and everything's on there. Yeah, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitter, uh, yeah. Yeah, all of those things. My number is 865309. <laughs> yeah. 8675309. Yes. Anyway, listen, look, you need to look on your on their website, look at their schedule. If you've not seen these guys, which I can't imagine that you wouldn't have heard about them, but if you haven't, go and look out, look them up, go see them, support them, love on them. As I was saying, I'm going to get Kit back on this sometime. Give him a good offering, and at some point, somebody's going to pay me. Yeah, here. Probably won't be him, but that's here. all right. <laughs> oh, he's doing it now, so we're good. All out. <laughs> uh, look at his offerings. This has been horrible. Yeah, anyway. All I have to do. <laughs> anyway, man, love you guys. Hey, man. Tribe of Quartet. Spell it out. Dot com. Awesome. Hey guys, here we are at NQC Day 4. Our Day 4 winner of yeah. the new CD12 is... Debbie Alley from Opelika, Alabama. Woo. You are the winner. You're an Alabama and I girl. hope Debbie likes it from Opelika. <laughs> <laughs> she will. I love when Alabama people win stuff. So I, yeah. I wonder if she's a, a War Eagle. Alabama fan. She's got to be. She's anyway, what? Well, congratulations. Yeah. God bless you.